Especially since they are capable of manifesting the enormous power of nature itself. into the physical world in order to initiate control over the natural environment, causing rain, hail, snow, etc. An elemental is never intrinsically evil. In its natural state it is innocent to behold and is both powerful and beautiful in its manifestation. Many elementals who exist at the higher spirit realms bask in spiritual atmospheres of devotion and divine significance. Some of these powerful elementals are commonly used in rituals of high magic and become involved in important ceremonies focusing on the energetic fusion of the supernatural powers of heaven and earth. Some of them linger in places of worship, invisibly urging disciples to emotionally and spiritually release more of themselves to the divine and energetically transform to a higher spiritual level. However, through human contact, certain elementals have developed a craving to absorb human energies and have transformed their original nature into one of demonic manifestation. Certain elementals that exist in the lower spirit realms have been contaminated over the centuries through encounters with powerful sorcerers who have constrained them to fulfill specific commands. Threatened, degraded, and familiarized with some of the most violent and negative human passions, these spirit entities have become a major concern for disciples of all occult practices. As a greater number of these lesser elementals learn from the negative passions of dark sorcerers, more and more elementals eventually go rogue and begin to avail themselves of human life force energies. This energetic result is often seen in specific forms of Aaliyah. 97. Holism and hypersexuality. The energetic forms of these spirit entities can be seen clairvoyantly, haunting bars, brothels, and such places where they hope to feed. Where there is any feelings of guilt, which is basically a form of fear or fantasy, the individual's way chi field is likely to become weakened. When attaching to the unsuspecting human, all that the elementals desire is to ensure that they have more energy from which to feed and clothe themselves. In the meantime, however, the victim's physical health and general morale deteriorates under the constant bombardment and steady depletion of his or her energetic fields. Eventually and inevitably, the victim's energetic field is completely broken up and destroyed from within. The following is a description of each of the four ancient elemental realms and the spirits that inhabit them. Earth spirits. These energetic forms are said to exist within the dark, subterranean realm of the Earth Kingdom. When manifesting in human form, they tend to have short, solid bodies, usually two to four feet in height, and are commonly known as the Little People. Earth spirits often have deeply tanned skin, long black hair, with flashing dark brown or hazel eyes. They have broad faces, round cheeks, wide noses, 